so right now I'm personally working on a puzzle platformer, which is 2.5D. It's sort of a mix between 3D and 2D. A good example would be the video game Rhine, which is available on Game Pass. But you know, super simple graphics. No real animations, at least through cutscenes and stuff. That's what I'm capable of doing by myself, for now anyway. That game should be done by the end of next year, so around next, next December, not this September, but the next one, in 2023. Now, if my books take off and I make a surplus of a certain amount of money to pay other people, a you know, game designer, game developer, an artist, 3D modeler, etc. Well, in a perfect world, I would like to make a single-player, story-driven 3D game with simple cartoonish graphics, much like Wind Waker. But especially if you've read any of my books, probably a game very much similar cartoonish graphics, but to Alan Wake. Basically picture Alan Wake having a love child with Knights of the Old Republic. My goal would be between 30 and 50 hours of gameplay and a cross between linear and open world. For the most part, I'd want to keep it as cheap in production as possible so that I could charge around $20 to $30 for the new game, be able to release them more quickly, and not make a big game just for the sake of being big. I wouldn't fill the map with, you know, viewpoints or outposts or needless shit like that, a bunch of fetch and carry side quests and the game would be super heavy on the lore of the universe in game not only that the most important part of the game that i would like to make is that it will not connect to the internet in any way whatsoever no patch updates what you see, what you get is what you get so you know other people tuning in if you've made it this far link in profile go grab a copy of my and my books Make it happen, and you'll have a good fantasy adventure from an AA studio, let's say. Or AA quality, whatever. But my goal is to be a lot like the indie studio Spiders. But if money were no object, specifically what I would like to do is a somewhat paranormal thriller game. Where you have samurai swords and stuff with the gameplay of Jedi Academy. But yeah paranormal sci-fi thriller would be the genre that it is and it'd be a role-playing game.